Adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs, can happen to any of us, no matter where we live, what we look like, or how much money we make. ACEs can lead to toxic stress, and when left undetected and untreated, can have a profound impact on our individual health, our families, and even our communities. That's why I'm grateful to Governor Newsom and the California legislature for enacting SB 428, the ACEs Equity Act, which will significantly expand coverage for ACE screening beyond Medi-Cal beneficiaries to include most Californians. Research tells us that two in three adults across the United States have been exposed to one or more ACEs. And those who are exposed to high doses of adversity have a 20 year difference in life expectancy and triple the risk of serious health conditions like heart disease, cancer, and chronic lung disease. The cost to California is substantial. A recent estimate showed that ACEs cost California $112.5 billion overall annually. That's over $1.2 trillion in the next 10 years. This estimate only considers impacts from eight common ACE-associated health conditions. The real cost impacts are likely to be much greater. But ACEs are not destiny. Screening for ACEs allows us to identify, treat, and heal the harms caused by toxic stress. There couldn't be a more important time to enact this legislation. COVID-19 has impacted all of us, but children are uniquely vulnerable to the stress and trauma it has caused because their brains and bodies are still developing. The pandemic has given us an opportunity to build back healthier and get that much closer to reaching our goal of cutting ACEs and toxic stress by half in a generation. To learn more about the ACEs work we're doing in California, visit acesaware.org.